Just how old is too old when it comes to your tires? What you don't know about the tread you're riding on could hurt you. Taking action reporter Jackie Calloway shows you what you need to know to stay safe on the road. Well, the danger lies in used and new tires alike. The problem is age. Even if a tire's never touched the asphalt, it could fail you on the highway. I almost hit the vehicle in the right lane. Kim Nolan said it sounded like a shotgun went off under her car. The car jerked for a second and, and the tire exploded. Nolan and Indian Rock's chiropractor lost control of the Dodge while driving south on 275. I slammed on the um, emergency brake and I don't know where that came from because I wouldn't have thought of that normally, but I slammed on the emergency brake and the car came to a halt. It wasn't until after the near crash, Dr. Nolan discovered the used tires she bought at an auto repair shop last April were actually made 22 years ago. They looked good. They looked, they had um, great tread on them. So I thought that I had great tires. How it even stays together is beyond me. Chris Brazil, owner of Brazil Tires, says looks can be deceiving. Even if there's plenty of tread on the tire or the tire is new, it's the age you want to look for. The rubber only has a certain shelf life and usable life. In Florida, there are no restrictions on the sale of old tires, which is why it's important for consumers to check the date stamped on every tire. There's four digits there. The first two are the week, and the second two are the last two digits of the year. So if the date stamp reads 1508, that is the 15th week of 2008. But the number is not always on the outside of the tire. It may be flipped in on the inside of the tire. Brazil's advises customers to avoid driving on tires new or used that were made more than five years ago. Kim Nolan says she'll petition lawmakers for legislation banning the sale of old tires. But for now, she hopes her story serves as a warning to others. They were dry rot from the inside out. Basically, it had, it had dry rot on the inside of the tire, but you can't see it. So as you saw, tires made after 2000 have a four-digit code on them, but tires made before that year only have a three-digit code. And if you can't find the number on your tire because the tire has been flipped to the inside, well, your local tire shop will be happy to locate it for you.